All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, God. I said that in the other spawn video. Spawn. Welcome to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. And we're going to be playing some more with Spawny. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, I finished it off with a sick soul forfeit combo. Yes. Everyone and their mother knows whenever you have soul forfeit active, just tech forward throw or jump or do anything except for getting touched. So it's kind of hard to land nowadays, but leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying the Mortal Kombat 11 action. I know you guys probably have. I'm recording all these videos at once, so I haven't even seen what the reception is yet. But I know that you guys have been asking for MK11, and here, here you ye are. Here ye are. Go back to the one you came from. So I think after playing with Spawny and Joker for these two videos each, um, I'm going to... I'm going to start brutality hunting with um, some of the other characters. Oh shit. Forgot. Jade is really annoying to play against in this game. Ooh, hello. I will take that. Nice. Hmm, is she gonna be able to recover in time? Round will I be able to? Fight. All right, guys. Do you think she's gonna break is the question. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I'm still getting these 50% combos. She actually did not have... Oh, and I get this crushing blow too? Ouch. Okay, down two. Oh, I forgot that's a crushing blow. Sure hit confirm that shit. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, and the throne comes out? Personality, ladies and gentlemen. The personality with these characters are a step above any Mortal Kombat game. It doesn't matter which one it is. MK9, MKX, MK1. The presentation and the personality in these characters for MK11 is out of this world, man. You can never criticize of how good the presentation is in this game. The hell? I want to do my uh, guns blazing right there. Nice. Oh. Actually, want her. That's when I want her down, too. Ooh. Oh, no. Not like this, guys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude. She made like a 90% comeback. That was insane. I literally dominated the entire the entire round. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to catch her. She almost made that whole comeback. This thing is crushing. Oh, I already used it? Ow. Ah. Oh fuck, I should have just down poked. 
The uh, the stripper pole stance is actually uh, safe on block, so I should just. Nice, that's actually hard to whiff when it's right there. I'm happy about that one. Too late on that anti -air. Shit. Nice. Yes, sir. I get this crushing blow. Whoops. Oh, God. I didn't want to... Nice. Got her. All right. Jade in this game could be really annoying because, obviously, she has a staff. And crushing blows, especially down two crushing blows, are very prevalent in this game. So, whenever she does something that's even just a tiny bit safe, there's a lot of times where Jade players would just randomly down two, you get hit in the chin, crushing blow, and it's over. <laughs> or sometimes with me, I would just get hit by random fatal blows that they would do. Nice. Ooh, I don't know what the hell she's doing right there. Look at that. I love that anti-air. A little bit of damage there. Yes. Oh. These uh one percent health bars that they have at the end is scare are scary. Use it. I know that's plus on block, lady. Ooh, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, that sucks. Ah, it was just supposed to be the normal one. There it is. Was I not just saying that I get hit by random fatal blows? Missed my target. Fuck. Yes. Oh, and we get another one, baby. I'm sorry, Jade, but Wanda is the only woman in my eyes and in my heart. I don't care how gorgeous you are in this game. It's all about Wanda for me. All right, last set here with Spawny. Uh, I'm just happy that coming back to MK11, I was able to do two soul forfeit combos already. Already the only, oh my God, Jackie Briggs. So in this video, we're playing versus uh, two of my biggest demons in Mortal Kombat 11, which is Jade and, of course, now Jackie Briggs. I wonder what moves he's using. Oh, he's using the Bionic Bounce. Obviously, that's going to be... The, he's using her best variation. Wait, Grenade Launcher? Isn't the Grenade Launcher, like, the actual missile? The, uh... The, the blue balls, the blue... Uh... I don't even know. What the hell do you call it? Plasma balls? Those are the ones that are the good ones. I, I, I don't know if that's actually the move or not. Okay, yeah, that is it. That is what I thought it was. One of my biggest nightmares. Oh, fuck. I forgot.
Oh my god, he just did it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Round two, fight. That was crazy. Oh yeah, let's put us on block. Oh, forward advancing. I'll take that punish. Can't really do that. Oh, are you kidding me? The read, the read on the breakaway, and the amazing pose. Spawny, you are one of the most badass characters to have ever existed. Come to life in Mortal Kombat 11. What a read into the finish right there. The only thing that would have made it better if is if I would have gone into Stand 2 for Fatal Blow. That's the only thing that would have made it better because it would have been a little bit more stylish. But the fact that I was able to catch her on that um, club read armor break was awesome. I've been needing one of those. There's a few times where I held up block. <laughs> Shit. You gotta watch out for her for her dash punch. Nice punish. If I was him, I would grab a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. It's over. One of the best things about Jackie is she could actually keep you on the ground. So you're unable to break any of this damage right here. Fatal blow. Unbreakable. One of the best things about it is she could keep you on the ground like that. How do I deal with that? I think you just have to hold it, unfortunately. Fuck. Yep, that was it. All right, so one thing happened right here that I remember I hated, which is my opponent is negative on block, and then I take my turn, and they do flawless block into up three, up two. That shit was one of the things that drove me insane in this game. Right there, he did up two, but I think we were able to trade. But that shit always drove me insane. Yeah, she's not attacking with anything but mids. Ooh, I don't know what she tried to do right there. Nice. Stay on the ground, too. Stay on the ground, Jackie. 
Round two, fight. Ooh, that was close. I'll just hold that shit. There it is. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. That shit is so annoying. One of the, the most annoying things, in my opinion, about this game. Alright, that's this round. Whoops, I don't want that. Yeah, that was gonna be it. Enjoy the crutch brigade. Man, I hate that. Final round fight. Shit. Gotta hold it, remember. Fuck. Nice. Ooh. I wonder what he did right there because once you flawless block, you he wasn't gonna be able to take chip damage, I'm pretty sure, right? Or is that just in Mortal Kombat 1? I don't remember in this game, but once he flawless blocked, I thought he was fine to keep on blocking, to not take any more chip damage, but I guess he let go of block. He might have thought I was going to do something else. I got to remember to activate Soul Forfeit, even if I don't specifically go for the Crushing Blow combo, just because right there, for example, at the end of the match, down back two, or down back one, machine gun, crushing blow for an extra couple percentage points. Oh shit. Man, she could just go for days. She could just go for days. Mm. I was hoping that she would flinch on that forward four. Because then I would have been able to convert. Round two, fight. Fuck. Damn, didn't punish her in time? I knew she was going to do that. That's what I was fucking waiting for. I don't think this is going to do it because it's off of stand 1-1. One, one. All she needs to do is... Fuck. Whew. That was so close because my hand was literally touching the plasma, but I think I hit her first. Oh gosh. That was close. I'll take that crushing. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna be way too much damage. 
fuck. No, dude, you heard it. Come on, man. You heard my down fucking one. You heard it. Go back. Go back and and watch the tapes. Rewind it. Watch the tapes. You, f it fucking came out. That should have been a. Ugh. That should have been a down one. I take my turn. Shit. I'm disappointed at that big time. I actually had that hit confirm. That was my fault. That was my fault. I had that hit confirm. I just didn't press the fucking buttons. Round two, fight. That was my fault. Had that fucking hit confirm, man. Oh shit, I was way too far there. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. That's definitely gonna do it right there. Th that's what I was looking for before. Alright, that's gonna do it. No doubt about it, Spawny. I know you're not gonna let me down on this one. Yeah, there you go. About 40%. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be the last round because we're pretty much 2 2. Damn, did she put her knee back into place? Fight. Shit, I didn't want that. Dude, I was crouching the whole fucking time, man. Fuck. Have to use this, unfortunately. All right, that's gonna do it right there. Nice. All right, there you go. The finish some screen messed up my potential brutality finish, ladies and gentlemen. I was gonna do the club one, but the slowdown and the finish some screen fucked me up. All right, there you go. Oh, I was able to close it out, guys. Man, there were some frustrating situations from, what was it, the fourth match? Yeah, when my down one didn't come out or it got, like, eaten by the grab, I was like, oh, shit, this might be over. That definitely put me on tilt. Uh, and then not hit confirming the, the fatal blow when it was, like, a very easy hit confirm. I was like, oh, shit, I think this might be over. But fortunately, we were actually able to pull, pull it through. And in this video, we beat two of my biggest demons in Mortal Kombat 11, which was Jade... And, of course, Jacqueline Briggs. Uh, she's really hard to deal with, man. All those hopping and leaping and everything. Um, maybe one way to deal with it is flawless blocking into up three or something. But I definitely don't have any of that timing right now. I was just eating everything uh, and just praying. <laughs> 
But that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. My first four videos coming back to Mortal Kombat 11. Two with Joker, two with Spawn. Uh, you guys will probably see, it de depends on how many videos I record like in the next coming days. You guys might see other characters as well, but today, the first day that I'm recording, which is um, 2 16 a.m. on, well, you can't see the date, but it's the 19th, but it's like 2 17 on the 19th of March. The return of Mortal Kombat 11. I, I still can't believe it. Play Mortal Kombat 11. It's 2024. But hey, we had some fun matches. I do have to say, we had some fun matches. We had some good stuff. We had some brutalities. We got some soul forfeit combos. We had uh, we had we we even had a match extended with Joker. That's insane. That's it. Have a good night. Have a good morning, evening, whatever. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.